Oh, it's time, ladies and gentlemen. It's time. It's time to make a bowl of your video. <laughs> Mr. Rainer 009, the motherfucking Mark Messier of Mold Liquor. We're going to do a small impromptu vinyl haul. I wasn't even going to cam up today, but I said, fuck it. I had a 40 ounce of Mold Liquor in my refrigerator, even though there's a fucking label violation there, 209J Jones. Hopefully, he won't blow the whistle on me, but that's the way it goes. So, it's something a little different tonight. I don't want to spend 20 minutes talking. I want you to enjoy it, you know. I mean, well, I want you to enjoy watching me enjoy some Mold Liquor. Refreshing and delicious. Mold liquor. Shout out to Farkles one as well. All right. is absolutely refreshing and fucking delicious. Brewed and packaged by hardworking patriotic fucking Americans and you need to support that. Brewed, bottled, packaged and transported by unionized fucking professionals. Malt liquor. Malt liquor label out. Right, so up first. Dropkick Murphy's The Business Split, The Mob Mentality Split off of Tang Records from the year 2000. Um, <clears throat> OG copy, great co great, uh, great fucking album, or whatever, Split, really. Um, I'm more fond of The Business than I am of DKM. I don't think, um, <laughs> this might be a controversial statement, but I don't think DKM has put out anything really groundbreaking since 2005. The Warrior's Code. I think it's their last great one. The one after that from like 2011 or whatever, I can't remember the name of it. It's just forgettable. It's the same fucking album every time. That might be a fucking sacrilegious thing to say, but uh, that's just the way I feel about it. Dropkick Murphy's The Business Split, The Mob Mentality Split, Tang Records, 
OG copy. Econo Jam Records, Oakland, California. Won't make a label out. Ugh. Shit. Up next. The Misfit Static Age. Now, right now, this was a store copy from 1234 Go Records. They had it on their website. I said, shit, I, I saw that they had posted something on Instagram. They were, you know, whatever. I saw that in there and I said, well, they probably have it on their website. And they did. I've been looking for this for a while. Copies of it are going for like $45 or $50. It's bullshit. Some a little bit less, but uh, this one was like $24 or whatever because it's a brand new store copy, sealed copy. It's a 2021 pressing, I think, or 2020. Hold on. It doesn't say on here. But uh, Misfit Static Age. Outstanding album. And I'm trying to collect that, that discography, minus the uh, the singles. That's because of the 45. That's impossible. Those are outrageously expensive anyway. Hold it. Uh, up next, we'll go with this one. We'll save this, that one for last. Misfits Die Die My Darling. Um, the fucking single, 12 inch single, whatever, it's 45 RPM. Also from uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, Go Records. $10, you can't go wrong. Look at the fucking album cover art. And that's been sitting in the bin for a while. You can tell it's been, it's been, uh, it's got a little bit of ring wear on it. It's been sitting in the store for a while, but I, I got a copy of it. I'm happy with it. Misfits Die Die My Darling, 1, 2, 3, 4, Go Records, Oakland, California, Mulliker. Ah. And last, but certainly not least, H2O, Faster Than the World, 1999, OG copy. This is their last good album. I'll say that's another thing that might be controversial, whatever it is, what it is. <clears throat> um... I don't think they put out another good album after this one. It's unfortunate, but that's just the way it is. And I did see this, I saw this band twice. I saw them at a, at a hardcore matinee at CBGB's, I think in 97. I think it was 97. And also in, in Germany at Wolkem Z99. So Rockem Z 1999. They were there. Bloodhound Gang was there. Fucking No FX was there. 59 Times the Pain was there. Fucking. I think Guttermouth was there, yeah, Guttermouth was there, and there was, there was a bunch of other punk rock bands and fucking, like, alternative rock bands that were there. It was, it was a great day, great festival. Uh, H2O, Faster Than the World, their last great album. Now, they fell off after that. I don't like H2O Go from 2004, it's not my thing. I also didn't like that side project he did with Freddie Madball, Hazen Street. That album has a lot of good guest appearances on it. Tim Armstrong, Freddie Madball. Fucking, I think Roger Moret's on that. A couple other ones, man. It's fucking, it's a good listen. It's, it's a pretty solid album. And is it, is it, oh, Mr. Med H2O is fucking terrible. Well, fine, whatever. To each their own, you know what I'm saying? A little liquor. Shout out to Florida 32 Ounce. Shout out to the legendary Huffy72, who is bringing his Molt Liquor Tour to the USA starting in January. Mold Liquor Tour 2023, legendary Huffy 72, ladies and gentlemen, check out, check him out, Mold Liquor. A little more here. We're almost at the swill anyway. I want to be done in 10 minutes. Maybe not. Shout out to Jay Esco and R. Esco May as well. Shout out to Corwin Russell, who is not an off-key um, cunt. <laughs> Corwin Russell is not an off-key cunt, he's a legitimate musician. You know who I'm talking to. We're not even going to fucking start with that one. myself as well as the masses so this is what you got you better fucking enjoy it we'll Combat Bowler Shady. 
and everything, whatever. I know the music is not everybody's favorite subject or whatever, but uh, I do appreciate you. Especially uh, J.S. Go and R.S. Go, man. Classic fucking beats. I came here tonight to play chess. I also promise you that I will do more Molika videos and final records talking about gangster rap. I will do it. I don't have I don't I don't have enough of that going on. Right now I'm trying to build up my punk and, my, and hardcore collection and some of my metal records. We're gonna do a metal one too. All that shit. Metal too baby, don't worry about it. No road phone, no door phone. Oh down, hell Billy, rate, comment, subscribe, whatever you gotta do. I'm out of here. I hope everybody has a wonderful Saturday evening and all that. Stay tuned. There may or may not be a public service announcement happening. I meant to do it last week, but I was, I was too fucked up, and I might be too fucked up now. It does happen. Moldmaker!